Hey everybody, it's Vic from Vic's Creative Corner. So I've been meaning to do this video for a while and basically it's gonna be an update to posting in multiple servers the same message or different messages. Um, we're gonna get started. There is gonna be maybe a couple of different steps here, but keep in mind about Discord's terms of service and use at your own discretion. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So this is going to be a multi-action. Now, the first thing that we're going to want to do is open up an application. So we're going to go to system and we're going to select open. I already know my command prompt for mine. This is going to be what you're going to actually put in here to open up discord. In my case, I'm just going to come here and copy and paste it because I've had it set up. And I'm going to paste that here. Basically, when I select this, it'll pop Discord open. All right, so again, I will put this somewhere in the description of the video so that way you all can set up opening up your Discord. But the next thing that we're gonna do is select our server. So we need to look for Elgato's Discord app, plugin, and what we're gonna do is select the text channel. I'm gonna choose my own personal Discord, and we're gonna choose my general Welcome, chat. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna delay. After we open this, we wanna give it about a second or two seconds. Because when you're opening up an application, right, it's gonna open up to whatever it's gonna do. It's gonna go to the channel the moment it opens up. So we're gonna create a delay. So I'm gonna actually delay this by one second after we open the app. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna call this two seconds. And then we're gonna select our channel. And then we're gonna actually do another two seconds. So in this case, I can just copy and paste because it's the same duration of time. The next thing that we're gonna do is actually going to be a hotkey. And this is going to be tab. Reason why, and I will explain, check this out. We can already start the prompts on the multi-action. You're gonna notice that it's gonna go into tab and it's gonna act like it's typing something. So. If yours isn't posting it the first time around, you want to add the tab feature into it with the hotkey. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is add our text. And in this case, I'm going to tell everybody I'm testing something out as an updated version. And then we can press enter after our message. I'm going to go ahead and add another two second delay and rinse and repeat. The reason why I have it do the app, even though it's not necessary, but say you decide to switch into another program while you're doing this, you wanna make sure it opens the app. So for every channel, just get into the habit of doing the open and then rinse and repeat. So what I'm gonna do this time is choose another channel in my Discord server and I'm gonna select the game section and rinse and repeat all the way up until I get to the text. So on the text, this is gonna be my last action because these are the only two channels I'm gonna post in. And now I'm gonna execute this action. So this is the button I'm clicking on. And we're gonna watch it in action. So it posted in my server and it tabbed over to the message section so that way people were able to see what I'm actually saying. I hope this has been helpful as far as an update when it comes to the Discord. But again, keep in mind, read Discord's terms of service and make sure you're not violating anything.